Welcome back everyone, CapKG here, along with Jordy, and we are continuing with Ruby Chibi Season 2. Got four more episodes for you guys coming up in this video. What are we at? 9, 10, 11, 12, I think is what we're at. But, before we get to that one, you guys mentioned in the comments of the first video that we had missed something, which was a character intro short trailer type thing that came out for Season 2. I have not seen this. I don't know how I missed this. I, I didn't know this was out there. Um, so, we're going to check it out first. Probably would have been better if we watched it you know, at the very beginning, but whatever. <laughs> um, we'll check it out now, and then we'll watch the four episodes. So, what is this that we're watching? It's like a, it was like a teaser trailer intro thing to basically announce oh. that season two was coming out. Oh, so, okay. It's called New Character Intro. Cute. Okay. So, let's go ahead and jump in and check that out first. Penny! That's a been good way to introduce Penny for the first time. <laughs> Salutations! Hello? This is adorable is for intro, oh, like introducing here? characters. <laughs> Cute. Ruby? I like how she squeaks. Right? What is the matter, Ruby? Oh, I need a battery for Penny. <laughs> Here you go! <gasps> That's so dark! Right? That was creepy! <laughs> Just kidding! Oh I do my need gosh. This, <laughs> okay. Oh, cute. Okay, that made me feel better. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Uh, that, that was really cute. That would have been a good way to initially introduce that Penny was going to be part of this season. Yeah. So. That's pretty cute. I like that. Way to miss that, Camille. I, like I said, I don't know. So I've mentioned, I, don't care, I can't remember now whether it was in the video that we lost or the one we actually recorded for the first four episodes, <laughs> where I mentioned that I haven't seen a lot of season two. Like, I've seen it all through once, yeah. but I didn't really go back and watch a lot of it. So I think that's why I missed this, because the way I have gone back and rewatched parts of season two is when I watch other reactors react to it. So since none of the reactors I've watched have ever reacted to that character show, I think that's just why I missed it. Um, oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That being said, let's move on to the first actual episode for this video. This is going to be episode 9, and this one is called Coming Home to Roost. And she said, now that's a katana. Get new <laughs> jokes, Yang. Mm. Guys, shut up! What is it? Uncle Crow is coming to visit! <gasps> Chibi oh Crow! Gosh, I can't wait! Oh, your Uncle gosh. Crow? <laughs> Isn't he the drunk loudmouth? He prefers oh. Reckless Rogue. He's super cool. All the time. <laughs> I suppose there are this worse is amazing. role models out there. I mean, he's definitely cool, but I'm not sure I'd go as far to say role model. I'm telling him you said that. Uncle oh my gosh, I love this. That was so yeah. funny. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's really cool. <laughs> that was amazing and so clever and adorable. No, save the bees. <laughs> the tune. I like it. I don't feel good about it. Come on. Weiss, I'm taking you out to dinner tonight. Wear something pretty and don't be late. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, that's it. <gasps> now you're being a Yang man. What weird thing are you guys doing? <laughs> Yang's my new life coach. She's teaching me to get what I want by being more assertive. Stop. Oh! <laughs> 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 More. <gasps> I don't think that's maybe how you should ask. Don't. Oh. <laughs> yes, the tinkle. Now, a tinkle. Dinner. Ew, I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, message received. May have gone too far. <laughs> Can someone let me out, please? You didn't yeah. listen to Yang Man. He's not ready to be a Yang Man. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. The pee was so funny and awkward to watch. The way it's streaming down. The white line. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that one. I like the crow now, bit. Yeah, I loved the crow bit. By far my favorite. That was yeah. so funny. Yeah. I, first of all, so one thing it reminded me of was when this started airing. So there was a big debate in the Ruby community about whether crow is actually a crow. Because if you remember in that scene where he comes in to help them with Tyrion, you don't actually see him transform. But there were some there are some people who are holdouts Wait. who are like, does crow is crow really a crow? And then so here you actually see him like poof into crow from being a crow. Well you do see it in that in one episode. I know. But then those same holdouts were people who are like, no, but Chibi isn't canon, so this doesn't mean anything. Oh, anyway, God. This just took me back to those moments watching that. I again. just feel like why do we argue about silly things like that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I agree. Oh well. All right, so let's move on to episode 10. This one is called Cool Dad. So maybe some more Thai for you. I love Thai. Chibi Thai is the, oh, he's the best. <laughs> and then yeah. I think Crow, because that was, that was so adorable. Just a hot mess, trying so hard to impress them. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this next one. Yeah, and that girl's is what we call rolling snake eyes. Oh yeah, look at that! I love his voice. Like little eyes. Oh, cute. Hey guys, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Up top. Uncle Crow is teaching us important life lessons. What kind of life lessons is he teaching you? You know, like uh -oh. love is for suckers and rules are for fools. Wait, <gasps> what? And never get caught cheating because it's only cheating if you get caught. <gasps> I like that one. Crow, what are you telling my girls? <laughs> no! It's a harsh world out there, Ty. I'm just teaching them what they need to know. This is funny, showing the difference between uh, the two I've characters. I've taught them everything they need to know about justice, honor, and maintaining excellent oral hygiene. Great job, girls. It's okay, Dad. You can <laughs> teach us all the boring stuff, and Uncle Crow can teach us all the cool stuff. But, but I'm cool, too. <laughs> I'm a cool dad, right? <laughs> Good one, Dad. Wait. Are you serious? But I have a tattoo and sweet cargo shorts. Yeah, that's adorable. Come on, girls. <laughs> that's Let's my that's some, my uh, version of edgy. Illegal fireworks. I love the background music for each character. This is so funny. You. Blah, blah, blah. Break all the rules. Look at my messy hair. That I spend an hour every day styling. Hey bartender, give me another drink. It's been two minutes since my last one. Oh! <laughs> Me! I hate alcohol. That's so me. It tastes so bad. <laughs> that was funny. That was so funny. <gasps> Your geist is back. He's back. Huh? Yo, dude, back from the gym. I am sweaty. Gonna hop in the shower. Sounds good. Why'd you have to <laughs> rubber <me> ducky? <laughs> I don't care. He's scared. <laughs> he don't want to see that. That's it. why you never tell a cute waitress your real name. <laughs> <laughs> Dad? Look at when do you go. skateboard? <laughs> I've been skateboarding for years. I guess you just didn't notice because I'm so chill about it. That's why you can stop it. That's why. Stop. Both. You tried! <laughs> hey girl! Still wears goggles, I love that. So much hurting. Belly flop. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. Damn, you. some moves there. Yeah. There's that weird guy staring at us. Yeah, I used to have some pretty <sighs> sick moves when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. Sick moves? No, oh, yes, that's please. okay, Dad. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? Also, me dancing. Why are you acting so weird lately? 
I know how much you girls look up to your Uncle Crow because he's so cool. I just want you to think that I'm cool too. Well, dads aren't supposed to be cool. They're supposed to be dads. And you're the best dad in the whole world. You this really actually has like a yeah, lesson. Yeah, that's this way one. better right? than being cool. Now please. It's like has a step my story. To get killed. Well, I guess I did all right if I raised girls like you. Well, my work here is done. But you didn't really do anything? Didn't I, rabbit girl? Didn't I? My name's Velvet. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I, that that was interesting because it showed like the the it showed like the differences obviously between the two characters in the real mm -hmm. show, but it made it cutesy and it had like a semi like plot to it. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed in season two. Some of the jokes carry over a little more. It seems the more yeah. like plot throughout the episode, and I liked it when they did that sometimes in season one as well. Those were yeah, cool. that was funny. I uh, I love Chibi Crow. I do the, too. The persona they give him. Yeah, he does do stuff in the real one. That yeah. joke about him like not doing anything. No, Crow's <laughs> a fighter. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, episode eleven is called Movie Night. I'm showing question mark. I am so ready for movie night. So what are we watching? Pira! I think we should see Love More Than Likely. I heard it's a very tender love story. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, fair maiden. I'm here to do <laughs> It's okay. I meant to do that. <laughs> My hero. Yuck, no way. Let's see something cool. Oh. Like try hard too. Try harder. Try harder. <laughs> That's adorable. I play by my own rules. Slow mo. <laughs> Dude, why are we walking so slow? That's why. His eyes. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I was hoping we could catch that new animated children's musical. Little Bonnie Foo Foo. No! <laughs> We're not seeing a musical. Besides, no one likes cartoons. Yeah, uh, I get this it. is gonna be harder than we thought. Spoiled brat. Uh, I'm getting angry just looking at you. What is going on? <laughs> what? What's that all about? Guys, I got it. All the best movies out right now are about superheroes. I think we should see The Huntsman Rises. The Huntsman again. I am Dark Justice. I am called Vengeance. <laughs> the bad guys are going to be now, they say. How long is this going to take? Uh, he hasn't even gotten to his origin story yet. He retells it every single time. <laughs> oh, you guys, I know exactly what we should see. It's a horror movie called Dog Rain. <laughs> The squeaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, my wildest dream. <laughs> How is that a horror movie? Well, she doesn't get to keep the puppies. Oop. Huh. Guess we missed them all. So, same time next week? You bet. Sounds lovely. I'll be here. <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> That's like trying to pick a Netflix movie with friends. Oh my gosh, yes. Right? You end up sitting yes. there for like four hours trying to decide what to watch, and you're like, well, getting late, we should all head home now. <laughs> I know, we only have time for an episode of something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and if that. Yeah, or you spend so much time at Target that you get so, and you spent to get snacks for the movie that you don't have time for the movie. Is that just me? 
That's probably just you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more video to watch in this one, and that's episode 12, and that is Evil Genius. Austin! <laughs> I miss you! You know, sometimes I feel a little guilty sending students off on these dangerous missions. They'll be fine. <laughs> Lyren, did you complete your quest for the artifacts of entry? You mean these house keys? They are known by many names. <laughs> Is one of those names house keys? Names aren't important. <laughs> Better make a copy of these. <laughs> Miss Rose, did you recover Just the... Just a second. <laughs> Cute! What Here's was that scroll? sound? I, uh, I mean, the artifact of knowledge. You, um... You didn't look at the photo gallery, did you? Well, mostly I was trying to escape the forest alive. <laughs> Why? I still haven't deleted my photos from the faculty costume party, which turned out not to be a costume party at all. Port! You want to talk about it? <laughs> race, race, race. Okay, that one's pretty good. Nice legs, Oz. You worked that look. No, wait, wait. Are you just sending us on quests to find stuff you misplaced and calling them artifacts? Ruby Rose, I am shocked, shocked and dismayed at these baseless accusations. Huh? <laughs> Ow. Huh. Professor Ospin, I've retrieved the spectacles of Farsight. They were in the crevice of comfort, just as you foretold. Crevice of comfort. <laughs> I knew it! Um, look, a distraction! <laughs> I copied the photos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny. Good work, Miss Rose. I like your style. Very professional. Impressive. That evil plan didn't quite work out, but it's okay. I have many more schemes. I'm the schemiest. I am heavy with schemes. <laughs> I present to you <laughs> the Death Ray. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it still has a few bugs to work out. I have other evil inventions. Behold, the Brain Scrambler. <laughs> <laughs> Mint to note, the brain scrambler goes in the victim's head, not on my, 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 what was I saying? What is this? Ah, like? yes, <laughs> my greatest invention. The infinitude glove is the ultimate embodiment of evil, and it comes with Wi-Fi. Watch out, Red. Wi-Fi. Torchwick is coming for you. Look at her. <laughs> you, that's so funny. <laughs> if Wi-Fi is going to drain the batteries that fast, then what's oh the point? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> yes, please. Brain food. We'll enjoy a frozen treat, then enjoy Ruby's defeat. <laughs> <laughs> Just once, I wish things would go my way. Go back in. We're from you. Oh, mama. Oh, <laughs> Funny. Oh. Have that I mentioned how much I love Torchwick and Neo in GV? You sure have. You <laughs> sure love have. Those two. <laughs> okay. So that was our set of four for this video. Um, any ones that stood out to you that you really liked? All of them with with Ty in it. That was adorable. I yeah. love Chibi. Um, Chibi Crow. Just, I just think it's so funny. Like he's, as the the cutesy way they portrayed him as badass was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then what was that one I absolutely loved? Shoot, in the beginning of all of this. Not sure which one you're thinking of. 
I don't know either. But when John was hammering on his sword, <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. There, were a there lot was of good one I absolutely one. loved in there, but I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, there were a lot of good ones in this one. Um, definitely the, any Neo Torchwick stuff stands out to me. Crow. Um, that first one with Crow and him bumping into the window. That was great, too. Yeah. And those ones I liked the most. Yeah. Any other thoughts? I I just keep I just want to say again I'm so like surprised like with how clever they are like mm-hmm. they're so cleverly yeah they're cutesy and they're just simple but they're so cleverly written yeah I don't know it's still like impressive yeah and and sometimes I wonder like what's what makes Chibi as funny as it is is it because it's characters we love and just seeing them in that kind of different environment that makes it a lot funnier than maybe it really is or right. Are the jokes just so funny and the characters don't matter, or is it a combination? That makes me wonder sometimes. Like, if you tried to yeah. show this to someone who doesn't watch Ruby at all, would they appreciate it the same way? I've never done it, so I'm not sure. You know? I I personally don't think so. I think I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. I think like to really truly appreciate the joke, they're writing the jokes for the characters. You know right. what I mean? So I think you wouldn't really be able to appreciate them without knowing the characters. At the same time, though, the characters in Chibi tend to be portrayed very differently than their actual character selves in the show. Yeah. And so I'm wondering, like, can you just accept that that's the character? But yeah, I, I, th- I, I think I'm kind of with you. I think. Point. Yeah, I think it's kind of with you, though, for the most part, that it's it's the appreciation of the character, knowing what they are, and then seeing them in this kind of new light, this kind of new style. Yeah. Makes a lot of jokes funnier. But yeah, but I agree with you. It's still cleverly written for the characters that they're using. Yeah. In that sense. Well, that's going to do it for us for this video. Um, it's the halfway point now for season two of Chibi. We've got three more videos Holy coming cow. out next week. Yep. And then we'll be on to volume five. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then.